Hey guys, it's Steph, because who else would it be? And welcome back to another episode of... Cue the intro. Trying new makeup and hoping it doesn't suck. Available at all good bookstores coming in 2027. So you guys know the drill with these sort of videos. I'm basically gonna be throwing a whole lot of makeup on my face and I'm gonna let you guys know if it sucks or not because let's face it, I would rather spend my money on all these products and you guys waste yours. So if anything's good, I'll let you know. If anything sucks, I'll let you know. So let's get into the video. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about definitely does not suck, which is why I am working with them today. So this is the new FAQ LED face mask, which is by the brand Freo, which I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about loads of times. I probably own like every single gadget that they've ever brought out. So when they sent this over to me to try, I was very, very excited. Like it kind of makes you look like you're out of the Star Trek or something, which I do also kind of enjoy because like I'm rocking the Spock eyebrows at the moment, but this is honestly the best LED face mask I have ever, ever tried. Now I've had LED light treatments in salons, I've had like a couple of masks at home that I've tried, but this is by far the best because like, first of all, it's like malleable. So it like fits to your face completely. There's not like loads of random spots that you're not getting. It targets every single part of your face, obviously apart from your eyes. And I don't know if you guys can see, but all of these little dots here are points of light. So it's got 600 different points of LED light. So it literally like targets all of your face. And if you don't know about LED light therapy, it's really good for like pretty much everything to be honest. It's good for anti-aging, getting rid of scars, acne, rejuvenating your skin, like literally everything. I'll put all the benefits like on screen now, but this is honestly the best mask I have ever tried. I've been using it now for the best part of like two months, I wanna say, and I've been using it like three to five times a week. And the cool thing is, and I'll show you guys in the cutaway, they actually have an app. So you just download the app, which is obviously completely free. And you can select from like a bunch of different treatments. You can have one that takes like five minutes. You can have like a 15 minute anti-aging mask, which I've been using a lot because now I'm over the hill of being 30, I want to combat that. If any of you guys have gone to the salon before and got an LED light treatment, you will know that that is not cheap. And I won't lie to you guys, this is definitely more of an investment, but it's one of those things if you do quite often or if you wanna incorporate LED light therapy into your like skincare routine, investing in something like this is gonna save you a whole load of money in the long run. You can just pop it on and secure it on the back of your head and look gorgeous like I do right now. And you can do like your hoovering, your emails, you can cook dinner, whatever it is you wanna do. You can literally like look after your skin whilst you're doing other things. It's like the best multitasker. And honestly, like I know it's a little bit bouge. It's kind of like an added extra in your skincare routine, but I have seriously noticed such a difference in my skin recently. Loads of people have been asking me what I've been doing to my skin and honestly, I've not changed any of the routine, any of the product, anything like that. I've just been using this guy here. So yeah, I'll leave all the details for the FAQ LED mask treatment down below alongside like the links and everything like that. Because honestly, if you guys are going to the salon and getting quite frequent LED light treatment, honestly, you will save money from this. Like I know you kind of have to like shell out for it a little bit like from the get go, but you will save so much money and the results that I've seen from this guy are incredible. So I'll leave all the details, all the links, all of that down below. But um, I have been loving this thing recently. And like I said, if you have like a Comic-Con event or like a fancy dress party coming up or anything like that, doubles up as that as well. So um, all the details down below, everything like that, but I have been loving this. Okay. Let's do makeup. So the first thing I'm gonna use is a product that I used to freaking love, but this is the light version. So this is the Walida Skin Food, but I got it in light. And loads of people that I know use this as a primer and I've heard a lot of good things. It smells really, really good. It kind of smells like citrusy. Oh, and by the way, as you can see, I've like done my brows and everything like that. But yeah, I used to love the original Skin Food, but it is fairly heavy. So I thought I would kind of try the lighter version to see how it looks. And this already feels a lot lighter, but it still feels like it's got the tack to my skin. You can basically use this on like everything, to be honest. If you want your skin moisturized, if you have dry skin, this stuff is really, really good, both this and the like original version. So it feels really good, but I don't know if you guys can see around here, but where I mixed my moisturizer and my drunk elephant drops earlier, it's like picking all of the color off so, I mean, good job. I'm applying a foundation and stuff in a second, but maybe if you wear fake tan or drunk elephant drops or whatever, even though I applied that like three to four hours ago, it is really, really picking it up. Like you can kind of see there's like a bit of like brown gunk on my face here, which isn't that attractive, but 
the way it's making my skin feel feels really good but it is picking up like my drunk elephant drops a little bit so just be wary of that <laughs> no 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 i am so annoyed at myself i haven't done this in probably years i just realized my camera wasn't recording while i was applying both my foundation and my concealer as you can see, I was halfway until I realized, but I did film the macros so I can just like talk you guys through the process. So I basically used the new Be Perfect Chroma Foundation, but this is the uh, medium coverage soft filter luminous foundation. I've tried their original, I freaking love it. And I applied this all over my face. I used it in the shade N4. And basically for the whole clip that I never filmed, I was talking about how I like the coverage. I really, really love the finish. And I feel like this is not as full coverage as the original, but it still gives you good coverage and you get that luminous glow. But I really, really love this. And then I started to use this glowish concealer here. This is the Bright Light Sheer Concealer. And I basically said that I like how it looks. It's giving me like no makeup makeup sort of vibe. So I wouldn't necessarily use this for like a really like full glam beat. But I'm so annoyed. It's the fact that I didn't record any of that. Been doing this for how many years now? And uh forgot to press the record button, but I I'm liking how this concealer looks. It is definitely more of a sheer coverage, but I'll just show you guys how it blends out now. It blends out really, really quickly, and obviously it is more of a sheer coverage, but you can layer it up. I did two layers on this side, and this is my first on this side. But it just gives you like a nice bit of luminosity to the skin. So, um, sorry about that. That's really annoying that I uh, didn't press record, but here we are. Right, I'm just making sure I'm recording. Am I recording? I'm recording. Thank God for that. So now I'm going to go in with one of these new um, like liquid blushes from Charlotte Tilbury. They're the Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand. I really like the original. I do prefer the Max Factor Dew, but I am also really kind of into like a matte blush. So I think I'm going to go in with, let's try this shade here actually. So this one's called Pink Pop. I will say, like, I do feel like for the amount of money that you're paying for Charlotte Tilbury, usually a lot of her products are, like, super bougie looking, but this is just, like, a little squeezy tube. I know you can't make something like this look too bougie, but I feel like for the amount of money you're paying, at least, like, throw in a diamond or something, but, yeah, I'm gonna pop some of that on my cheeks. I might need to go in with the other one, actually, because this one seems really, really light. Yeah, you can barely see that one, so let's try Peach Pop. That's better. The other one would be a lot nicer on like more fair skin. I mean, it's there, it's blending out nicely. I'm sure if I had a slightly deeper color, or, like a slightly more vibrant color, it would look better. But even as someone that doesn't usually tend to wear that much blush, I feel like that's a bit too like subtle for me. Like it is blending out nicely. The finish looks good, all of that. But I just feel like for the money, it's like I don't spend all this money on makeup to look the same. Do you know what I mean? So I'm gonna I'm gonna add more, basically. I'm just gonna add a lot more. Like, I feel like it's nice, but is it 30 pounds nice? Absolutely not. I could get a freaking whole Chinese takeaway for two people with that, with like all the size and everything. Would I rather have this or would I rather have Chinese takeaway? And am I just saying this because I'm hungry? I don't know, but I don't know. What do you guys think? For like 30 quids? It's not doing enough. So if you do want to get one of these, if you're like obsessed with the formula and stuff, because the formula is good, get a color that you will actually see because they do blend out to be quite sheer. All right, so next up, we're going to use this guy here from Uoma. This is the Flawless IRL Bronzer in the shade Shady. And it's kind of like this weird, like cream, moussey, but almost kind of powdery texture. Let me just show you a little swatch on the back of my hand there. Does... Look very subtle. Oh God, okay. Maybe I should have gone for a slight, oh, I should have really gone for a slightly darker color, shouldn't I? I'm not really seeing much here. Hang on. Might have to go in with the old trusty powder bronzer in a minute to warm me up, but it's giving a very subtle contour. Like, it definitely looks lighter now that I've like smeared my brush in there. But in the store, it looked like a pretty decent color for me. Uh, let's try my forehead where I don't really have any other colored products. Yeah, it's not really doing much, is it? If any of you guys have this product, let me know what you think of it because 
I might have to actually go and buy a slightly deeper colour because I'm really not sure how I feel about this to be honest. Okay, we're just gonna move on to setting powder now. So I'm gonna use this new one here from Cash. It looks like this, nice packaging. And I got this in the shade Translucent. You all know by now, I'm normally more of a loose powder kind of girl, but I've heard a lot of good things about this. So I'm just gonna set my under eyes first. That looks pretty good. Now that I've set the concealer down, I can definitely see that I would like a bit more coverage, but again, it's a sheer concealer. What did I expect? But the way that it's setting down is really, really nice. That actually looks really, really good. It looks really, really flawless, but it doesn't look matte. It doesn't look drying or anything like that. But you can still see there's a sheen to my skin, but it's not as intense as it was before. Okay, I'm gonna take this big brush here from BK Beauty. It's their 105 brush. And really, really set down my face here. Yeah, so you can still see there is a slight little sheen to my skin still, which I do like. I feel like if you're doing photography makeup, then maybe you don't want any kind of shine on your skin. But day to day, I do want a little bit of shine poking through just so I look somewhat human. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. That actually looks really, really nice. Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit of my HMB bronzer in the shade Light Warm just to warm me up a little bit. That's better. Like, it doesn't need to be intense. I just need a little bit of warmth. Ooh. Okay. Don't know if you guys can see on a certain macro clip. But I have used this bronzer on just about every single makeup base that I usually tend to use. Like I've always got it in my drawer here if I do need to warm myself up a bit. So I know it's not the bronzer because I've used it so many times. Oh no. Yeah, it's just like, it's not sticking to a few parts of my face. We're gonna carry on as normal and I'm gonna try and fix it as we go along. But um, damn, that doesn't look too good. Anyway. I'm gonna do what we do best here. I'm gonna cover my face in highlighter and hope that it like distracts from the patchiness of my cheeks here. So I'm using the Kimchi Chic Fela Get Glow Saint Tropez Glow Highlighter. That was a lot of words, but it looks like this. It's kind of giving me like, do I even have it? Yeah, I do. It's kind of giving me Ofra Steph Tom's vibes. Not saying that they've copied me or anything like that. Like at all, I'm not even trying to cause any kind of drama. It's just a, it's just a champagne and slightly more bronze highlighter, but it's kind of giving those sort of vibes, so I'm excited. I'm gonna do a little mix of both of them to begin with. I really like the packaging. Please give me something. Please distract from the flakiness that is my face right now. I do feel like it's maybe a little bit ashy. I'm just gonna go in with the lighter color instead. I'm gonna try and kind of like cover up everything that I don't like, AKA just like do this. Yeah, maybe the slightly deeper color is a little bit too deep for me, but the light color is popping. Oh yes, that's nice. Looks really, really good on my skin. I do just think that maybe the shade is a little bit too dark for me. So I might just use that as like an eyeshadow or something. But look at that. Little glazed donut there. Okay, now let's go in with this Beauty Bay uh, Mattifying Setting Mist. So I'm gonna squirt that if it wants to work. There we go. I'm gonna put that all over my face and just set everything down. It smells really good and it's got quite a nice fine mister as well. You know what? I know it's one of those things that you guys probably can't tell too much of a difference, but I really rate that setting spray. Even though it's matte, I'm gonna use that a lot more often. All right, I'm now gonna go with my lips because I don't fully know what I'm gonna do with my eyes just yet, but I really wanted to try the new Fenty liquid lipstick. They're called the Velvet Liquid Lipstick and I got this in the shade Riri. It's like a nice kind of like mauve pinky sort of shade. Make sure I'm filming, recording. Yes, I am, thank God. So let's try this. They feel quite moussey. Really, really pigmented. It's kind of applying like a NYX soft matte um, lip cream, but it's got way more pigment. It's a really pretty color, I really like that. Okay, now for my eyes, I wanna try out this Be Perfect palette here. I've actually had this for a while. It's called the East Emerald Compass of Creativity and I need to put this shade here on my lids. That's the only shade I really care about. I love all the other greens, but this one in particular is like calling my name. It's called Avo. So I'm just gonna chuck some P. Louise on my eyes as I usually do. So I'm gonna start off by taking the shade Clay, which is quite a neutral, like kind of brownie sort of shade. And I'm just gonna run that in my crease. Super, super pigmented. I freaking love Be Perfect eyeshadows. Like if you guys want a really affordable, eyeshadow palette, 
Um, the Stacey Marie ones are full of so many amazing colors, but also just like in general, Be Perfect eyeshadows. Just, I don't know what they put in them, whether it's like crack or like crack times two. It's like their formula is so, so good. Like really pigmented, really blendable. It's a nice little crease color there. I'm now gonna go with the same brush and I'm gonna take Abo. I like to use a fluffy brush because I feel like it just makes it look extra smoky. And give it a good old blend right up into my crease. Like I'm placing most of the color down on my lid to begin with and then when I've got a little bit of color left on my brush, I'm just kind of blending that out into my crease as well. And even though I'm using a pretty big fluffy brush, there's like no fallout. I am freaking obsessed with that. I'm now gonna take a tiny little bit of Swamp and just blend that out on my lower lash line. Oh, I'm so into that. I need to do more of like a vibrant look with these shades here because these more like neutral tones are killing it. So now for liner, I have this one here from Isla. It's called the Black Magic Liquid Eyeliner and I'm just gonna do a little wing here. Really, really pigmented. I need to do a little bit of clear up on the bottom there, but that is super pigmented. If that lasts, then that's a really good liner. Let's do a little inner corner flick. Oh, I have never heard anyone talk about this liner before, but that actually looks really, really nice. Okay, I'm now just gonna run a little tiny bit of this Fenty liner in my waterline. This is called the Wish You Would Longwear Pencil and it's in the shade because I'm black. Is anything happening? Is there anything happening? Rihanna, I love you. I love what you've done for the makeup industry, but this liner ain't really doing it for me. Okay, now I'm gonna try out this mascara here from Hourglass. This is called the Caution Extreme Lash Mascara, and I got this, when did I get this? I mean, it's a little mini, so I think I got it from some sort of like advent calendar or something, but um, let's give it a go. I've not really tried out too many Hourglass products before. I feel like, Everyone always used to rave about their foundation stick and I still haven't tried that. So let me know if you have it. Let me know if I need to try it because that stuff is pricey. Um, but everyone says it's really, really good. I really like the wand for this. It's quite like a nice conical wand, as you can see. I mean, it's okay. It's giving me a little bit of volume. It's not giving me much length or thickness or curl or anything. Um, which I suppose for the amount you're gonna pay for an hourglass mascara, that's probably not ideal considering you can get it from like Essence, Primark, L'Oreal, Maybelline, whatever. Like I'm having to work quite hard to sort of get what I want from my lashes here. It's all right, but would I feel comfortable telling you guys to go and buy it? No, like you can literally go to Primark or Essence or even go to like L'Oreal or Maybelline or whatever and get a way better mascara. Um, it's nice, is it worth the money? No. Right guys, I'm gonna go and do the other eye as I always do off camera and then I'll come back and show you all the finished look. All right guys, so this is the finished look and I don't know how to feel about it. I feel like I like the lips, I like the eyes, but there's something going on with the base that I'm not really sure on. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm just having an off day or something, but I'm really, not overly into it, I, I I don't know, I feel like I like a lot of the products, but maybe together, I'm not really sure how to feel. So I actually have to head out in a minute and I do wanna take off my base makeup especially. So I'm not gonna do a check-in today, but I'll let you guys know in the comments down below how the foundation wore and the concealer and everything like that, because by the time this video is edited, I will have tried out a, bit, a load of the, blah, blah, blah. I will have tried out a load of the products like individually, so I can kind of let you guys know my individual thoughts on all of them, but yeah. I know I like the eyeshadow, the eyeshadow's dope. I like the lip product and I like the highlighter. So those are my three favorites today, but I also did really, really like the setting spray as well. But yeah, there's something going on here that I'm not 100% into. I don't know, but I'll let you guys know in the comments down below how I got on with everything. As always, if you guys do wanna check out anything, all the links will be down in my description box alongside the FAQ LED upside down face mask, which like I said, I absolutely love. It's so freaking good. If you guys do go to the salon quite often for like LED light treatments, this will save you a whole load of money in the long run. And it's really nice. And like I said, got any costume parties coming up, 
It's like a, it's like a multi-purpose sort of situation. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it here. I have to head out in a second, and I really do just want to like scrub all of this off my face. So um, let me know what you think of this makeup look in the comment section down below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But yeah, a bit of a fail today, but I, I feel like I actually do quite like a lot of the product, just maybe not together. I'm gonna leave it here. I love you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.